I was alone. I needed help. And in his infinite goodness, he reached out and gave me help, even though I'd sinned. Even though I'd turned my back on him and renounced his word. Friends, he came to me, not I to him. And he is with me forever. And I will dwell in his house forever. Hey, up, we're a kitten, Jackie. No, I've got one. Want another? No. Kind of you, but I don't think I can take your kitten. We can't have them at all. And Eddie keeps trying to drown them. And she keeps having more, you see. Oh dear. Well, I am sorry. My dad doesn't want them, so Eddie keeps putting them in a sack. Oh dear. Jackie doesn't want it either. So do you want it or don't you? Charlie! Do you see? So if you believe in Jesus, he'll take care of it. Come! Shut it. Shut the gate. Shut it. I shut it. I shut the gate, Dad. He shut it, Dad. What have you been up to, then? Nothing. Do you want any help, Dad? No, I don't need your help. Come here. What have you got under your coat? Me pulley. I don't mean that. You know what I mean, and don't be so clever. What have you got? Something I found. Are you sure I can't help you, Dad? Oh, get on. traps again? No, we haven't, see? No, well, you better not. Else I'll tell your dad, then you'll cop it. Cost me good money, them traps do. We haven't been near your rock traps. And I'll tell me, dad, that you pitch his paraffin. Looks poorly. 
I think it wants its mother. Do you want your mother? Shut up. Yours wants yours yours wants its mother. What shall we call them, Cathy? I don't know. We'll have to think. I'm gonna call mine a spider. You can't call a cat spider. I can call it as you like. You daft you are, you're soft in your head. When mine grows up, I'll teach you to hate yours and it'll eat it all up. Don't. Oh, shut up, you two. And listen, you're not to say nout. You're not to breathe it to her Aunt Dolly or she'll be after telling me dad. Let's see, let's put him in there. Let's see. Come on, then. And don't keep running in and out of here, else they'll know. Who's got to look after them, then? Jesus. Don't talk wet. Yes, he will, then, because that woman told me. What woman? The woman in the Sally Harvey. That woman. I asked her to look after it, and she said Jesus would look after it for me. Well, what's she know about it? She knows because she lives in his house. How can she when he's dead? Oh, I can't Well, what's up? He is, isn't he? Well, Francis saying he'll have something terrible happening now. Yes, you just wait till Jesus comes and gets you. I'm not bothered. It's only talk. Well, come on then. Didn't say nothing, did I? Only said what's true. Can't hurt you for that. I can't fix this any road. Haven't I got another one? Not clean, you haven't. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Well, it's shrunk or something. That's what's wrong with it. Anyone would think I didn't wash them properly. Here, stand still. What with you and the children, it's no wonder poor Beatty was laid to rest. I should think she got fed up with it between the lot of you. I know I have. All right, all right. Don't start on that. All right for you. I don't notice you doing much. No, no, no. Not my home, you know, and they're not my children. The way it'd be if you didn't have me, I don't know. I'm on your sister, of course. But I've got my feelings, you know. There. I can't breathe in it. No. I expect you'll get beer past it, though. Come on, you two. Bed. I haven't finished yet. You finished. Come on. Auntie said I had to eat more slowly. Well, never mind that. Put it in your mouth and get upstairs. Night, Dad. Night, love. Night, Dad. Straight up now. I have to say good night to Auntie and Cathy. We'll see it from there. Good night, Auntie. She didn't hear me. Can I go in and see? Look, I'll not tell you again. Good night, Cathy. Good night. I'm going down there for half an hour. And don't let her stay up half the night reading either. Don't tell me. Tell her. She's your daughter. You heard what she said. What are you at? Mind you, don't leave door open, banging all night. Have you been looking for them then? 
Auntie? Auntie? Something to tell you. You what? Something important. You've got to wake up. I've seen him. You what? Listen, you've got to listen. I've seen him. Really? Jesus. He's in our barn. He's come back. Kathy, are you sure? What are we going to do then? I don't know. I expect you'll tell us. What does he talk like? Well, he didn't say much. He just told me who he was. I think he was very tired. Well, he would be, wouldn't he? Did he say why he'd come to our barn? Do you think it was because of what you said, Kathy? I don't know. I bet it was. I told you, didn't I? Is he stopping? He didn't say. Do you think he'd like to see me in the morning? I don't know. I expect so. I mean, I didn't say anything, did I? Funny, isn't it? Him coming to our barn. It's like a miracle. I don't think I want to after all, Cathy. 
It's all right, I promise. Promise. How would the Kurt say? He's gone. Asleep in the hay. Yeah, it's got to be a secret. You've not to tell nobody. He'll tell us when he wakes up. He'll tell us what to do. Hey, what's happened then up at this time? Are you wet the bed, the pair on you? Yeah, daft you are. Right dirty. Oh dear, oh dear. Sticks and stones will break me bones, but names will never hurt me. <laughs> 198. 198 what? Well, that's how many eggs I've had since last Easter. Come on, don't string it out. I want to get cleared up. Won't a certain person want some breakfast? It says in a certain B-I-B-E-L that a certain person needs bread. Shut up, big man. What are you talking about? Nothing. Yeah, then. I know what you're talking about. Oh, then. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to keep it to myself. Shan't tell you anything ever again. Look, I told you to shift her yesterday. It's too drafty in that little pen. She's worse this morning. Yes, well, I was on my way to shift her. I was waiting for you to look at her, see? Well, I've looked at her, so shift her up to the big barn. We'll get Weaver in to have a look at her. And another time, don't wait for me. Just do what I say when I say it. Right. I'll do that now, then. Right. What are we doing? Are we playing with Jackie Greenwood? One of us might be. Two of us aren't. You rotten cows. What are you doing? Ask no questions, get no lies told. You rotten cows, you're nothing else. You watch your tongue. It's always me. I always get it. I'll have to hide, then. And no following. We don't want to follow you. Well, you better not, then. Rotten cows. What else? Should we have some fishes? No, that's only a miracle. 
Oh, I thought he had to have some fishies. What about some vinegar? Wine. He has bread and wine. Oh, Cathy, that's me dad's for Christmas after the Queen. What does it look like? Thought the house was on fire or something. Isn't she any better? No, she eats too much like somebody else I know. You take her to Rip Barn. Can I put her in? You trying to get my job or something? No. No, but my dad says I've got to help more. He says I'm useless and I'm not, see? It's just that nobody lets me. So will you let me? Please then I can tell my dad. Well, I don't know. Do you know how? Yes. Yes, I've seen how you do it. Seen how clever you are. Then, then you could go and have a look at your trap. There's something in it, I think. I saw as I come along. Trap? Aye, that big old wood pigeon, I think, the one you've been after. Right, that's right. As long as you know how. In the trap now, is he? Right, I'll have him. Jackie Greenwoods. Is he dead? Of course not. That ain't Jesus. Well, it is then, Mr. Clever Dick. Jesus wore a long dress. Well, that was in them days. Is it? Is it really him? And listen, it's a secret. You're not to tell anyone, because we don't know yet what he wants us to do. 
And we've got to look after him. Oh, gentle Jesus. <laughs> For a murderer, you've got to move fast. Especially with children around, you've got to close in quickly. I mean, uh, they were slow off the mark for a start. They should have closed in, but they didn't close in. No, no. no it puts the onus on us, you see. Of course, your uh, superintendent Teasdale is a very good man. Then there's your detective sergeant Wilcox. He hasn't been to bed for three nights. Yes, yes, Wilcox, yes. Yes, I'm still waiting to hear from him about the quantity of guttering that went missing. Get out of that puddle, boy. And when you're warning them, you see, the uh, thing's not to alarm too much. Not to alarm them. Yes. There's six yards of guttering being stolen, two dustbin lids, to my certain knowledge, notice boards, they've walked, wire netting. Not to alarm them. No. Right now, everybody, close your books. Now, put your hands up. No, no. Miss, miss, wait, miss, 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 miss. Don't all shout at once. Now, was the Samaritan a good person or a bad person? Miss, 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 miss. Yes, ma'am. Please, miss, David Edwards has just come in. Hello, David. He looks like another person who's been crossing over the road. Only you're not a good Samaritan, are you, David? No, no, Mrs... Miss Lodge. Well, I think you'd better go and find Mrs. Reeves and get those clothes dried. Go on, hurry up. Right, now let's all pay attention. Jenny, Robert, this way. We'll have question time now, shall we? Has anybody got any questions? About today's lesson? Or anything else? Miss? Yes, Kathy. What would happen if Jesus came back? Well, Kathy, of course, Jesus has never really left us, has he? He's with us all the time. Here, in this room. At home. Everywhere. Isn't he? Yes, miss. Only, I mean, if he came back in person, like. Well, well, for one thing, he'd find a great many changes, wouldn't he? Now, that's a good one. What sort of changes would he find? Hmm? Telly, wagon train. Beat the clock. No, that's quite right. There wasn't any television, of course. But, well, I was meaning other things. What else can you think of? Good final. What's that, Jackie? Speak up. Good final. Anybody else? Good fellow, plus his. But what would they do to him if he did come back? If Jesus came back? Well, I, I'm afraid the world hasn't changed all that much, Kathy. There are still bad people as well as good. But would they crucify him? I suppose some of the bad people might try. But this time, all the good people would, would have to try even harder to stop them. We know what we'd do, don't we? What would we do if Jesus came back on earth? What would we do? Hmm? We'd praise him, wouldn't we? What would we do? Praise him, miss. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him.
you think he's Dr. Cathy? Yes, he can do anything, Jesus. You think he could bake me a nice chocolate cake for my birthday? And some chocolate logs, eh? No, you mustn't. Miss Lodge says you've only to ask Jesus for love and not for things. Or oh, she talks out at the back of her neck, she does. <coughs> oh, I'd like to see our face when she knows we've got Jesus in our barn. Are we going to tell her? No, not till he's ready. Not till he's better than everybody will know. They'll all come and see him. Who? Oh, everybody. Shepherds, wise men, lords, ladies, bishops and people. The mayor of Burnley. There'll be thousands of them around our barn before he's finished. You just wait and see. Oh, you broke on your wine. We bought you that. And the bread. Did you? Hmm. Sorry it wasn't very much. I didn't bring you any dinner, but I brought you my kitten. It's named Spider. We've not told anyone. You don't want us to tell nobody, do you? Tell you better. No. Don't tell nobody. We know who you are. And we're going to look after you. We'll try and get you some better stuff next time. Did you come straight home from Sunday school today, Cathy? Yes, Dad. You didn't hang about anywhere? No, Dad. No, well, that's right. I don't want you hanging around talking to people and that. You didn't talk to anyone, did you? No, Dad, only the vicar. No, I mean strangers, like. You didn't talk to any strangers? No, Dad. No, well, I don't want you talking to strangers. There's some very funny people about these days. Funny men and that. I don't want you to be bothered with anybody you don't know. Kathy, what are you doing? 
Nothing, Auntie. What have you got under the table? Nothing, Auntie. Well, there's summit going on between pair of you. You know summit about it, too. What have you got in your hands? Nothing, Auntie. I'll eat your tea properly. I mind what I say. I don't want you having to do with strangers. Just mind what I say. Yes, Dad. What then? We've come to see him. Who? Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Well, you can't see. Yes, we can then. He's not your private property. Everyone can see him if they want. Well, if I tell you, if I let you see him, it's got to be a secret. You've got to promise. It's got to be a secret society from the grown-ups. Do you promise? Because if you don't, they'll come and take him away again like last time. Do you understand? Right. You can't go past our house for a start. You'll have to go right round. Aunt Anna and Aunt Charles will take you. You're not to make any noise, and you're to wait for me. Do you understand? Come on. Until I say. And keep back out of sight. Nan, give me the stuff. 
Keep back. I'm going to these like I promised. Oh, you're late. Yeah. If you want to get me anything, you could get me some water and a bit of cloth or something. Yes, sir. I'll send our Charles. Charles? My little brother. Oh, yeah. Who else knows I'm here? Oh, only Charles and my sister Anne and the other children. Other children? How many are you, then? Oh, they're not ours, but they're all right. You can come in now. But come in quietly. Some water from the yard. What in? Oh, use your loaf and find something. Well, say hello. Go on, say hello. 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 Got a free gift inside it. In there. It's an Arabian charm bracelet. so much noise. If you keep quiet, I'll read you a story. Ruth Lawrence, air hostess. The stranger paused. Yes, I have the parcel, he said. They were interrupted by the sound of the loudspeaker. Flight 504. Leaving for Hamburg. But he took no notice. That's why she's worse. How long has she been sick? Oh, not long. Oh, hello, young man. Hey, what are you doing? Look at your boot. Turn that top off. Ruth Lawrence was the youngest air hostess at Redbridge Airport. She was only 17. Dad! Dad! What's wrong? 
what? Are you going to look at the car? Ah, and you can't come, so don't suggest it. That bad look at the weather, of course. That field should have been sold last month. Ah, it's been terrible all around, hasn't it? Good for business, though. Who's business? Not mine. <laughs> but I'm not exactly complaining. What are you lot doing in here? Come on, out of it. Go and play outside. Go on, all of you. Oh, can't I stay, Dad? No, Mr. Weaver doesn't want your advice. Oh, please, can't I stay? I have been looking after her. No, all right, then, as long as you keep out of the way. <laughs> You're looking after the foot and mouth. We've had it all over. Here you are. Come on, right. let's have a look at you, young lady. Hey, she's off her grub. No, she's keeping it down. Come on, old girl. I shan't hurt you. Come on. Now let's have a look at your mouth. Come on. Well, don't seem much wrong with her now. Saved myself for your bill, then, eh? No <laughs> wonder you're not complaining. <laughs> I don't know about that. Anyway, I'll have a look at it while I'm here. Oh, well, she seems to go over it, whatever it was. Are you going to keep it? Well, I was, but I'm not bothered. I always think once they're prone to colic, you're best rid of them early on, but uh, it's up to you. There's nothing wrong with her now. So I'll put her back with the others then, get shut up the next well, week. If you take my advice, that's the best thing. young lady? Well, what do you say? Kill. They don't take care of nothing. I don't know what they're up to half the time. somewhere safer. Thanks for not giving me away. Oh, we wouldn't ever give you away. Not ever. Why are you... and all them other kids... Why are you helping me? Because we love you. What you got? Nothing. 
nothing. Well, give it us then if it's nothing. We know something you don't know. Has seen him. Who else then? Come on, who else? I have. Leave her alone, Pato. She asked Pato, we've all seen him. Just looking, just looking. Can't quite lay my hands on it. Lay your hands on it. What's this over here then? Well, I looked over there. Yeah, well, you didn't look hard enough, did you? Where'd this come from? No idea. No, it's funny, but I looked over there when I first come in. Oh, yeah, funny. I looked over the other side. Oh, you yeah, I couldn't see right. anything. It's all right. It's all right. All right. What is it? Have you got my kitten? What kitten? The kitten I gave you. No, I haven't got it. But I gave it you to look after. Well, I haven't got it.
ahead and chase us. You've gone to heaven, haven't you? What's up? Didn't go through the Bible, is it? What? Of course it is. It isn't, because he's just doing me. Who? Gentle Jesus. He does things for other people, but he won't do anything for me. Because it didn't do him. He's just a fella. It is him, Charlie. It isn't, because I gave him my kitten to look after, and he let it die. And he's supposed to look after animals, and he doesn't. Yes, he does. It's just that... Well, he has to let some things die, I suppose. Well, my kitten, not his. He can't stop everything from dying. Nobody can. God can't, even. There must... He must have had a reason. I'll find out for you, shall I? Shall I find out for you? Shall I? Shall I? <laughs> Mr. Reeves? Hello, Linda. It's not Linda, it's Cathy Bostock. Oh. Oh, yes, is it? Cathy, that's right. Can I interrupt you for a minute? Yes? Do you know how we used to cure people? Jesus, I mean, he cured a blind man once, didn't he? That's right. And it could bring people back from dead, too. Hmm. Lazarus. Only he must have let some people die, mustn't he? Why did he let those people die? <laughs> well, uh, you see, uh, people, babies, are being born all the time. And, uh, those of us who are here already have got to make room for them, haven't we? Yes, sir. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. That's what the Bible says, isn't it? Hmm? Yes, sir. I mean, God has got more than us to think about. Not only people die, it's what we are doing to the world. That's what worries him. You see, we hurt God much more than he hurts us. You don't have to go very far to see people offending God. What about when you get children taking guttering and lead and I don't know what from the church? It's not only the value, it's God's house. But that's nothing to do with Jesus. Well, it's going to stop. 
I'm going to stamp this vandalism out. I'm not having it. I'm going to take very strong measures in the future. Yes, sir. Hmm. So you pass it around. What have you got for me today? Um, I got some sausage and cheese and, and a custard slice. They've all got a bit mixed up, I'm afraid. You didn't bring any snout, I suppose. Snout? Yeah, snout. Fag, stickies. Oh, no. I didn't know you smoked. No, well, uh, I never used to, but well, I do now sometimes. Well, I'll try and get you some. How did you get hold of this grub, then? I just took it. Is that all right? All right, if you don't get caught. What would your mother say? She's dead. She's in heaven. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who looks after you now, then? Well, there's me Auntie Dolly. She lives with us. There's me, there's me dad, our nan and our Charles. It's his birthday tomorrow, as you know. <laughs> what day is it? Charles' birthday, the 14th. No, I meant today. Oh. Tuesday. I'll have to be going soon. Oh. Are you going a long way? Yeah. Will you have time to see some more children before you go? No. Oh, well, I'll have to see you. I don't know. She's taking her time, your Kathy. Oh, give over! If she ain't here in five minutes, I'm gonna get you. Give over. I think she'll be here before I can to hundred. Well, I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Why did you let that kitten die? Well, I got a lot on my mind just now. Look. Would you like to do something else for me? Will you run me an errand? Only if you do, nobody's to know. You haven't to tell the others. I understand. Oh, I won't. Well, I seem to remember there's a... There's a tunnel near here. Near a canal or a reservoir or something. I haven't been round these parts for some time, you see. Yes, there is one. The Castlewood Tunnel. That's on a canal. But they don't use it now. Yeah, that'll be it. Well, there's a parcel I want to bring in. It's just inside the tunnel, wrapped in sacking and wedged under the line. Do you think you could find it? Oh, yes, I'll find it. That's a good lass. Now you go by yourself and don't open it. Right? Yes, I'll go now. Five hundred and forty-one. 
What's up with her, then? I don't know, do I? Well, you're her sister, aren't you? Thought she was going to take us to see him. She will. What, next year? No, tomorrow. You said that yesterday. It's your Charles's party tomorrow. Who's asking you? Well, I don't want to say I know she'll tell you tomorrow. Well, she'd better. Or I'll go over and see him and tell him a thing or two. So you tell her from me. Don't ask him to the party. I shan't. Otherwise, your party will be over. I know somebody who might find themselves in bed. We're going to play blind man's buff. Oh, 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 I don't like it. It's too rough. No, it isn't silly. Of course it I'm going to be a blind man. I'm going to come and get you. Oh, Dad, tell our Charles to stop it. Please. Now, come on, Charlie. Watch it, look. You're getting overexcited. Now. Well, I want to be the blind man. It's my party. You've got to hunky, Dad. Can I get a bit of blind man? Look, I don't care who's the blind man as long as you behave yourself. Yeah, you can use Duster. We don't feel like a bit. Did you, Dad? No, oh, let him, let him. Then anyway, it's the last game, so make the best of it. Dad. Now, don't you start. You've had a good innings. Come on. It's too tight. I don't want you cheating, that's why. <laughs> 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 I'll have another cup of tea now, if you've got one. Well, you'll have to use one of the best cups, then, and be careful with it. Oh! 
Maybe it's a bottle of port then. I don't know. Don't look at me. Well, it's not here. Well, you must have drunk it, mustn't you? It's never passed my lips. I haven't had a drop since VE Day, and I didn't like that. He's in there. Cathy, 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 have you shifted bottle of port up the sideboard? Cake time. Everybody who wants a bit of cake queues up in front of Auntie Dorothy. Hey, don't drive me insane. Hey, miss, put that down. Who's this for? Me, it's mine. I'm not talking about that. I mean, to the one. It's for Jesus. Who would you say it's for, love? Who'd you say it's for? Jesus. It isn't Jesus. It's just a fella. He's got a gun. Now look, you stay here and keep out of the way. I'll be back. Cathy, so make up your mind. I'm going to see him. No, you're not, love. I'm going to see him, Dad. Look, you don't know, love. You don't understand. You don't. You don't understand anything. Look, it's not what you said. You don't know who he is. I do. I do. It's Jesus. Look, he's got a gun, love. He's got a gun. You're just making it all up because you want to get him. You can't leave anybody alone. I'm going to see him, and I don't care about you. Now, I'm stop it, Cathy. Stop it. You're not going up there, so make up your mind, Chris. Oh, Come on. Please, Dad. Come along. Come along! Now oh, behave! Now they behave! Come along! Come on! 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 Come on!
Please talk to me. I believe in you. I won't hurt you. It wasn't me. I love you. I love you. Go away, kid. Go away. something. You snort. Did you bring any matches? Oh, I've got matches. Don't matter. You remember the snap? I didn't give you away, it was Charles. But he didn't mean to. It's just that he didn't think. That's all right. He didn't mean to. Will you forgive him? Yeah. Then me Aunt Dolly went for the police. What'll you do? Are you going to get away this time? It's not up to me, is it? It's up to them, isn't it? There's lots of other children. I sent for them to help you. I know they'll come. I just know they'll come. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I heard. We wouldn't have sent for the police. Not ever. Not ever. They're coming now. What are you going to do? There must be something you could do. You could do anything. Is that what you all think? Yes. Yes, we all believe in you. It's in that barn, I gather. You stay here, I'll go up with Wilcox and a couple of men. You'll cover the back.
Where the hell are they coming from? I've no idea, sir. Well, I want this whole area cleared. He's got a gun, you know. Go on, Frank. Please, you must hurry. Please, you must. We will see you again. We will see you. You bet. What did you say? I didn't hear. I said, yeah. You'll hear about me again. Do you promise? Promise? Come on, love. Out of it. Yes, I promise. Party, Blakey. What's it going to be then? Gonna make more trouble for yourself? Blakey, lad.
Are they gone? Yes. Yes, you missed him this time. But he'll be coming again. <laughs> 